<clears throat> oh, let's check the levels. Are the levels good? Okay. Mute this fucker. There we go. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. Tonight is a chill night. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm gonna stay on because my throat is killing me. Uh, tonight I'm actually gonna work on designing the landing craft for the painting I talked about, um, commemorating my buddy's uh, grandfather fighting in the 115th during World War II, so um, I have this sketch here, which is the uh, Sherman tank, uh, basis of a Sherman tank. We'll add all the uh, pretty detail to it, extra little doohickeys and lights and netting, and once I get it on the final painting, but just to get the reference for the uh, centipede Sherman. Uh, but I have these landing craft, which are going to be on the left-hand side of the painting underneath the Valkyries, and they're going to be, like, giant sperm whales that, um, have their mouths open, and then the guys are coming out, or the centipedes are crawling out, so I'm basically just looking up a few pictures to, to get a feel for how I want to, uh, you know, maybe approach this thing. Maybe it's something that can claw its way out of the fucking deep... Uh, I don't know, just throw some, throw some lead, <clears throat> see what we got, um, I'm gonna put that there because I need to look at some reference photos and do a little thunking, or thinking, thinking, and some drinking. Uh, let me grab all the other sketches, too, because I think that will kind of uh, open my mind to what needs to get done. Kind of picture, put the whole thing together. Uh, where on earth did I put the... I had the bishop... I have the, I think the initial landing craft. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, there's some shit down here. What is this? What is all this? Oh, I got some old ass sketches. Holy shit. I'll be right back if anybody is like, can't see me or is like, where is this weird motherfucker at? Uh, did I open up, uh, is that St. Laurent? No. Oh, I did have the cathedral though. <clears throat> All right. I had to grab the, the bishop here. He's at the cathedral of St. Lo and he's, uh, well, his face is melting off. See if I can. This is the right sketchbook. Let me pull up some of the imagery. I have so much in here. Genius pipes. There's a bourbon barrel screaming. In addition to anyone's collection. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here were some of the original ideas for the landing craft. And I kind of like, kind of like, yar. And you got the dude running out right here. Put that up on the screen so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. But right now it's just a big, angry looking kind of whale thing uh, with a crooked hole and uh, teeth and, and basically his bottom half of his mouth is just the platform where the guys used to, you know ran out so uh, I think compositionally uh, the painting might uh, go this direction because it's coming in from the left 
and they're kind of aiming everybody to go up the hill. So, um, I like that, but I think I want like a longer, a longer face so I can add like maybe a bleeding flag or something or, or you know, cross hatch, hatch marks for kills or I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, and this guy's on fire. Yeah, I did like that. Cause that's metal as fuck. <laughs> So, yeah, and they're all climbing up this hill. Uh, hang on a sec. Where's the back of the book? Here we go. Um, it might be in the other sketchbook, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, the actual cathedral at the top. Okay. But that's what I got for now so if we we did go that route hang on I'm just looking up some uh, yeah you know there's a really cool picture of one actually looking directly at you so I'm wondering if uh, Maybe we did one here. Like he came in sideways. We put the mouth. And it has a really small bottom mouth, but maybe we'll just bring it out into the sand like that, or the ocean. And then we can do maybe one here. I got quite a bit of room, so even if I kind of crush it in here. Uh, I'm just kind of slump his jaw down there. further up on the uh, thing. Oh, I don't think I... Uh... Hang on one second. Um, forgot to change the title of tonight. Hunter S. Thompson's done. It's already been photographed as well. I'll definitely have that up. Um, sore throat for like four days so like I said in the beginning I don't know how long this stream will be but four I mean I just talked a lot <laughs> but I had a blast last week knocked out a couple of uh, couple of cool paintings got the Mad Hatter honey painting done and the uh, Hunter S. Thompson bourbon and beyond painting at the actual landing craft. They were pretty primitive. guy. A, because I love drawing them, but B, we'll 
accentuates just how fucking pissed he is and <laughs> and as well that he is just an old beast he's done this shit before I know there's a fly in here too no What's up, cigars are? Yeah, sorry. I was, um, you know what, believe it or not, I'm uh, remodeling the house right now as well, so I'm balancing that between doing the art, and uh, I got involved in a project on renovating the deck, and I kind of just jumped in, <laughs> and I've been working all day, so yeah, I took a little extra time to hop online, and <clears throat> uh, get going tonight, but... But I am here, and if it's past your bedtime, I apologize. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, busy. <laughs> well, it's summertime up here in Washington too, so I have like, you know, limited time to just get shit done. You know, like, oh, I got you know, three months of sunshine. I need to, uh, I need to work. On the uh, on the house, and I'm a typical artist. I always take on more shit than I can handle, but oh, yeah, that ain't gonna change. <laughs> <clears throat> My wife just gives me this stink eye when he goes, "Yeah, I uh, uh, my schedule so random. We're we're beyond that." <laughs> as long as I stay healthy, the minute I start. You know, exhibiting signs of fatigue from being up or working too hard. She's pretty on it as far as like, uh, yeah, you need to chill. And I'm like, I agree. Actually took a night off this weekend and went and saw Deadpool and Her Hereditary. Saw a couple movies. You guys are movie buffs or seen any of those Deadpool was all right I won't spoil anything you know hereditary was eh. I'm a big horror movie fan so and I wouldn't classify that as a horror I mean I know it kind of is you know but <clears throat> but it's being billed as this amazing movie and usually that's a sign that it's not <laughs> so had some good special effects and whatnot, but or uh, or lack of special effects. I'm sorry, it was actually a very intense movie in that aspect. But uh, um, but when they did use them, and, and it it was just kind of the same old shit, you know, that you expect in modern day horror. So I was a little disappointed with that. Uh, landing craft. Let's see, what's the door look like from that perspective? Oh, there's a great picture. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I I tend to, you know, possibly hop into Hollywood every once in a while and just say, hey, all right, let's see what they got going on. And then, yeah, it's usually just a big fucking disappointment. <laughs> I can't believe, I think last night we were just so zoned out. We, we ended up watching that new Transformers movie. And that was the gayest shit I've ever watched. I don't know, I mean, they keep making that trash. It's unreal. So I kind of stylistically want to bring the ramp out, but then I'm also looking at, okay, when he closes his mouth, it's just going to be this... You know, so maybe I should kind of give it the features of metal, like a hinge, but maybe, maybe kind of warp it a little bit, you know, so it looks as though it could squish up into there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was just, I mean, uh, 
I, I don't even know where to start or how to describe it, but the acting was just so fucking horrible, and <laughs> I was like, what the heck? this is so hokey, like, somebody sat there and actually wrote this, and I'm like, like, yeah, we want him to stand next to the American flag and give a patriotic speech about how Autobots used to be our friends. And Optimus Prime is the worst. He is just like a walking soundbite for like an army recruiting video. I mean, the way they've personified or, or lack of, the way they've made him talk is he's completely devoid of any personality. Maybe put some little, uh, instead of teeth, we'll bring out the, uh, kind of the tread. And the fact that I'm having a conversation about Optimus Prime. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow some of the tracks over here. <clears throat> Connor Hughes. Uh, I am not. I am not familiar with him. But something says, tells me I should go check him out. Get a piece of paper here. I'll check him out later. What is it, Connor Hughes? Alright, I wrote that down. Nice. I'm gonna give it I had these weird little fins that came off the side. Figure anything thin like can be oceanic. I know I had <coughs> big gnarly teeth, but I think they only have teeth on the bottom, right? They just have that weird stuff they just siphon shit through. Their bottom teeth are really sharp. Or prominent. Prehistoric ones had teeth. Able to draw a room full of people in his perspective. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's talent. Usually I gotta reference all that shit, you know. <laughs> if he's got it down. Maybe we'll put some indicative of some teeth that could crush you if you got in its way. I'm sorry if my pencil renderings are not like these beautiful epic pieces. This really is highly detailed for most of, you know, usually I'm very loose with the pencil sketch and yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> but just to, uh, yeah, maybe I want to get rid of this guy and I just want to concentrate on him. Kind of bring him around. People you can send, you know, send me to, to check out. I'm totally down with that. What the fuck is that? Oh.
Maybe I'll just do a painting of this guy. Get it over with. I do want to do a series of these characters and uh, and make some hand cast figures of them. I think uh, kind of playing off the gremlins uh, of World War II. I like that. Uh, <clears throat> like how they used to tear the. If anything went wrong, what is it? Gremlins over the Kremlin, the old Warner Brothers cartoon. They used to blame it on, uh, that was actually their first appearance of Tweety Bird. And of course, I'm sure you has it. <laughs> I think that's where I looked it up. But if anything went wrong with the airplane or whatnot, they uh, blamed it on these little dudes. And of course, Warner Brothers were more yeah. cutesy, but cutesy. I thought maybe a more like kind of devilish looking approach to these characters would be kind of cool. It kind of gave me, you know, where it uh, took me in this direction with this painting. I'm actually almost thinking like, what if he... growing on his head for armor. to do those as uh some sort of coral that's kind of growing out of his head and holding it on to him i always like like spots on animals and it's texture i don't know i'll fix that up but Kind of like that, more of a clampiness. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to spend all day tomorrow actually um, <coughs> tightening this up and uh, I got some logo work to do for a uh, company, but um, I'll try and get something paint worthy <laughs> to stream tomorrow. So I may still be working on the pencils for this on the larger scale, but um, I do have the Monty Python and the Holy Grail piece uh, that I might pop out tomorrow and start inking a lot of that, so. Both of them need to be done. Okay. 
her over there, and uh, yeah. So let's take a closer look. And we can have all sorts of, I mean, I could also put, <clears throat> you know, I could have netting coming across. It should be a very, very cool feature if it was all covered in netting. Just more detail, texture. Just kind of like an old, swam through an old broken fishing net. I draw mermaids now. I, I usually, if I draw a mermaid, she's got she's wearing fish nets on her on her fin, but she's uh, they're all like, you know, looks like she's been in a mosh pit. Super goth. <laughs> yeah, just bring that around there. get down with some crazy detail too like we'll have like you know, maybe there'll be like a you know maybe a life little inner tube thing like buoy kind of hanging off Got hair. <laughs> we'll just keep it to one strand. I mean, we could have shit growing off it. I don't want to make it, you know, too huge. Like having, like, you know, like old sailing ships embedded in his skin and whatnot, you know, that would be a sick ass monster actually. Like an old sea sea creature, an old whale and it just has ships embedded in him and <clears throat> but uh but I mean there's gonna be, you know guys running out with their guns. Woo. Scale, you know, something like that, so I don't want the dude to come out that size and then like, well, did somebody's boat fall out of its bottle and it would just look weird. <clears throat> the stuff like netting and the, and the life thing is, is cool. Is that a buoy? What, is, what the hell is that called? Inner tube? Life tube? Round thing? Help me out. Uh, we could put. Yeah, we could definitely have. Maybe have a spotlight attached here. certain things it's you know sometimes I'll sketch them on and then be like eh, I don't know if I like that but I'll keep it there until I you know either add like a little bit of detail to it or other stuff around it and then it kind of like oh, you know, like if there was a you know maybe like a you know put like a 30 cal machine gun up on his head or something like that it might add to it you know or the little kind of metal plate where the guy would drive. <coughs> I 
But I figured, you know, that kind of may may make it look like it's his pet as opposed to like these, you know, kind of creatures that are coming up and just being a part of this battle. Just because, because it affected, you know, gives it that feeling of this, this affected everyone. War, they got that kind of mm. their bottom lip just drops drops off. Paint that in white and then just weather the shit out of it. And, you know, I don't know if there were numbers on these things. Yeah, star. Put like a. Definitely put a title, an identifying number. This just happens to be the one I'm looking at right now. But we'll make it smaller and move it up. Make sure the star is nice and prominent. And maybe move the light back or get rid of it. That's why we do these sketches. coming that side. I'm thinking a color variation too, like maybe it's maybe we'll reference uh Moby Dick. Maybe it'll be a white whale. It'll just have red. Kind of streaking up. See if that looks too hokey in color. And actually give it red spots. So it doesn't look like it's just wearing red go-go boots <clears throat> and make this green make the metal green and give a nice separation between the two all right uh, okay 
thoughts, questions, concerns, ideas? <laughs> I really just want to do a painting of this guy. I might as well. I could actually uh, I'm coming out. Kind of fade him out down here. Make it look like you're you're in the water. Nemo-ish, like steampunk, or which I still think that's a thing, right? Sideways painting. I'd like to get. Let's see. I wonder if we. The twisted. One of these Sherman tank centipedes out of his body. One of the larger landing crafts that carried. <laughs> I make steampunk lighters. Up. No shit. Hell oh, yeah. That's awesome. We just. Uh, I just talked to Zippo actually at AFG, so we, um, I might be doing some stuff with them. They had asked about some designs and whatnot. Because I do a lot of the World War II pinup, and I was like, mm, you know, would rather work. have a Zippo out and like a shitty plastic lighter with my artwork on it. <laughs> this is definitely a thought to have this thing here, but I don't know that in the painting I'll add it because I just want the creature. painting but for now no Sherman Sherman peed Too. 
I mean, if you're going to have spikes, you might as well. You might as well be walking around like the guy from Rammstein until full flames. <laughs> Feed. What is my internet health? Why is it shit? Oh no, did my net go out? See if it cleans itself back up. Otherwise, I may have to reboot. Alright, I gotta reboot. What the hell? 